St. Paul says to us that we must put to death the old man, the old man of sin, the old man of ungodly pursuits and the passions. And in many ways, it's easier to let go of what we have, but more difficult to let go of what we are. Our sin can become so ingrained, can change us. We begin to com be comfortable with the old man. To do this, we have to struggle. And as the Church Fathers describe it, we have to enter the arena, the spiritual arena, to do combat. Combat through repentance. Combat through rejection of temptation and demonic influence in our life. St. Gregory the Great reminds us that when a wrestler, an athlete, enters the ring to fight, he strips himself. Strips himself so that his opponent can't grab hold of anything and he purchase and throw him to the ground. And similarly, he says, we must strip the soul. Strip the soul of everything that's unnecessary, everything that is ungodly, so that the demons who we are in combat with cannot take hold of us. Because the demons work tirelessly, relentlessly, to snatch our salvation from us, to lead us astray, to to make us alien to God through temptation and through the culture and the world around us. And we can use our free will to be obedient to God, to enter into this struggle, or we can bury our heads, refuse, take the what feels easy route. But if we do this, we make ourselves the plaything of the demons. Christ calls us to himself, calls us. He offers us the freedom, the joy of his kingdom, the joys of resurrection to eternal life. He says to us, come, taste. He knocks, invites us to let him in. We find true freedom through obedience to Christ. And we find true life, the life of Christ, by putting the old self, the old man, to death.